بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, so once we we have seen the EBGP configurations, that's something what we have uh, we did earlier in our configurations. Now the next thing we'll try to understand the default next stop behavior, how the routes exchange, and how the next stop is going to behave in when the routes are being exchanged from one autonomous system number to another autonomous system number. So first, let's try to understand the next stop. Now, generally, the next stop means the next router, right? That's what we generally learn in terms of any IGP protocol like OSPF or EHRP. When we say next stop means always it's a next router. Like, let's take an example. There is a 10 dot network, and this 10 dot network is advertised by router A to router B. So when this network is being advertised. Here now, router B receives from A, so it's going to write down that to reach this 10 dot network. What is the next stop? The next stop is A, right? So whenever you check the routing table here, to reach this 10 dot network, the next stop is A. That's what it will write down. This is the next stop. So similar way, when this advertisement goes from B to C, so C will write down that the next stop to reach. What is the next stop to reach 10 dot network? It's B, right? Similar way from the router C to reach the next stop. What is the next stop? The next stop will be C. Similar way from the router E to reach the 10 dot network. What is the next stop? Next stop is next router. So if you check the routing table, you will have the next stops. And similar way on the router F, uh, when it receives the advertisements, it will write down the next stop. The next stop will be E. And similar way on the router G, the next stop will be F because F is advertising, right? And similar way on the router H, the next stop will be G. So in terms of normal IGP routing, what we generally see, the next stop is equal to next router. So generally when we say next stop, the next stop is nothing but the next router or from which router I'm receiving those updates. So you'll see these things in the routing table. Generally, if you check show IP route, you'll see inside the routing table, you'll see the next stop normally. Here I don't have because we did not enable any routing. So if I just quickly enable the routing here, just for testing. So I'll quickly advertise some uh, networks here. Advertise some networks, let's say. And then we'll verify this next stops. So this is on the router one, router two, and router three, let's say. Okay, I'm advertising these routes. Now, if you check on the router three, if you say show IP route OSPF, you will be receiving some routes and the next stop address will be uh, from which router it is receiving. Mostly the next stop will be always the next router. So I'll remove these routings so that it's not going to impact my current labs. So let's quickly remove this OSP of routing here. Okay. But whereas in BGP, it's not like that. So in BGP, the next stop behavior is still a bit different compared to the normal IGP routing. So here the next stop is not equal to next router. It's actually equal to next stage, which means that when the router A advertises any update, Let's say the router A is in one AS and these three routers is in AS 500 and these three routers is in AS 600 and this is in AS 700, this is in AS 800, let's say. So let's assume these boxes represents different autonomous system numbers and the router A is trying to send an update to router B and when the router B receives, it will write down that I'm receiving 10 dot network and the next hop is equal to A means whatever the IP. But in BGP, what happens is when this update is being sent to the next routers, like in my example, it's going to send this update to next router and this router, it will not change the next stop. So when the BGP updates being sent within the IBGP, 
So within the IBGP means within the same AS, the next hop address will not change, which means when it goes to router C, the next hop address will be same. And when it reaches router D, the next hop address remains the same. So it will not change. But when the update is going from this router to this router, when the update is going between EBGP, the next hop will change, which means now, when the router E receives the same trend on network, the next stop address will be D. So it will write down this one. So it will change here. And when it is sending the update to internal neighbors, again, it will not change, which means on the router D also the same thing. And here also the, the next stop will be D. And again, the next stop will change here again. So which means now the next stop will be G. So if you just try to see within the IBGP, the next stop address will not change, which means when the B is advertising to C, C is advertising to D, it will not change the next stop. So within the same AS, the next stop address will not change. It will advertise as it is. But again, when it is advertising the routes outside the AS, it will change the next stop. But again, when router E is advertising to internal routers, it will not change the next hop. And again, when G is sending to H, uh, different AS, again, it will change the next hop. Now, now in this, we, we need to simply understand that the AS number changes. Whenever it changes the AS number, the next hop changes. And as long as the update is going within the same AS, the next hop remains the same, means it will not change. Now, this is a kind of default behavior with BGP. Now, the first thing we need to understand is default behavior. That's how it is. Now, what is the impact of this behavior? Now, there will be some uh, routing impact. You, there will be some reachability issues because of this default behavior. So if you just try to see with some example here, let's say this is my organization and I'm running uh, BGP on this router and I'm peering with my service portal one. And also I'm running BGP on some routers. Let's say I'm running BGP on this router and this router. Okay, maybe there are other routers. Uh, I'm not running BGP. So let's say I'm running IBGP here. Or maybe I, I, I just need uh, these two routers or any one router will be sufficient. Okay, so this is my router five connecting to service portal and there is a router one which is running BGP and we have IBGP neighbors between router one and router five. And I have EBGP neighbors from router five to the service portal. Now, as per this example, let's say the next top address here is let's say 2.2.2.2. That's a actual IP of the service portal, let's say, the neighbor address. Now this service portal is advertising the default route here. So when it is advertising the default route on the router five, it receives a default route and it says to go to any unknown network. Now default route means unknown network or it can be any other subnets. So what's the next stop? The next stop is 2.2.2.2, which means the router five, if it has to send any packets to Yahoo, Google or any unknown, unknown destinations, so it will simply send the packet to 2.2.2.2. And again, it is directly connected mostly. Uh, again, you have, assuming we have reachability to this one, it works fine on the router five. But the problem comes when the router five is advertising this route back to router one, as we discussed, it will not change the next hop. Which means when the router one receives the default route from, from the same service portal, let's say, so it will not change the next stop. The next stop remains the same, 2.2.2.2. Which means now if anyone coming to this router one and he says that I want to go to yahoo.com, the router one says, okay, you can use the default route. And this default route is via 2.2.2.2. Which means now the router one should know where is the next stop. Again, it is not connected to me, 
which means the router one should know how to reach this next hop. Then only the default route will work. So which means either this route will be advertised in BGP so that it can learn here and here. But let's say if I don't know how to reach the next hop, then totally the default route will not work. So there will be some kind of reachability issues. You will you may see because of this default behavior. So in my case, the router one is receiving the default route. As per the default behavior, the next stop is not going to change. And then we'll have reachability issues. So if you try to compare the same example with our lab here. So if you, if you remember in the previous, I have configured EBGP. So what I'll do is I'll try to simulate the same example as this is my service border. And this is my router one. And this is my router file as per my example here. I think reverse or whatever the routers here. This is router file and this is router one. Now here I don't have a default route, but we'll assume this 30 dot network as my default route. It is being advertised to router two. Uh, router two. Let's let's just make it as router one, router two. So it will receive this 30 dot network. And what's the next half? The next stop is 2.2.2.2. .2 so if you check on the router 2, as per my topology, uh, you can say show IP BGP. Again, we'll talk about more outputs a little bit later. So you can see that to reach this 3. network on the router 2, the next stop is 2.2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. Uh, you can see on the router 2, again, router 2 when it is advertising this to router 1 it will not change the next hop which means if i go and check on the router 1 with the same command show ipbgp now here i don't see 30 dot network here so i'm expecting 30 dot network must be coming here as well uh, maybe let me just quickly see. So the issue was the neighborship was down because of this interface is down. So I'm going to fix it, these things. So my neighborship was down. So in the previous lab, I just did the configurations. I did not verify whether the neighborship is up or not. So which means now I should see the neighborship should come up. So that's something what I'm expecting. So BGP takes some time. It's not like your IGP protocol where it will do very fast. Now you can see if I say show IP BGP now, now on the router two, anyway, you are able to see three networks. But whereas on the router one, if I say show IP BGP, you can see the router one is receiving the same three dot subnet, but as it is, as it is means the same next stop two dot two dot two dot two. The problem here is if you check the routing table, if I say show IP route, can you see the 30 dot network in the routing table? You can see 20 dot network here because 20 dot network is reachable via 1.1.1.2, which is my neighbor. I know the next stop, but I cannot reach 3111 because I don't have the route in the routing table. Now, what generally happens here is, as it does not change the next hop on the router one, which means you can see this in the BGP table, but to reach this side or network, so as per this scenario, if the router one want to send any packet to three dot network, let's assume it is a default route from service border. It has to send the packet via 2.2.2.2, and the router one don't know exactly how to reach this 2.2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. So if it does not know the next hop, it will not install this route in the routing table. So the router one will not install the route in the routing table and that route will not work. Means if the route is not in the routing table means there is no way it those default routes or any route will work. So you will have reachability issues. So this is one kind of issue here. Uh, what generally happens now to fix this, there are two possible solutions. One solution is you can simply advertise this next hop address in BGP. 
where I can just go to router three and say, advertise this route in PGP, this will work. I'm just trying to show you the possible solutions. I can simply go to router two and I can say, hello router two, hello router three, you, you just advertise 600, the two dot network in BGP, whatever the mask. Now the router one will receive, if I say show IP BGP, now you will see this route should be installed. If you see uh, the 23 dot network, again, the issue comes uh, reachability issue again. Now, one of the possible solution, you can simply go ahead and advertise this two dot network so that this two dot network will be advertised here. But again, it's not uh, easy, you know, advertising all the internet interfaces. So the alternative best solution is you can simply use next stop self command. So which means what I'm, what I'm going to do is the router three will send the updates to router two. And when the router two receives the 30 dot network, in my example, assume this is my default route coming from the service portal. And the next stop is 2.2.2.2. By default, it will not change. But what I need to do is I need to go to router 2 and I have to configure a command called neighbor 1.1.1.1 pointing to my IBGP neighbor. And we have to give the command called next stop self. So what I'll be doing is I'll be giving this command called next stop self, which means I'm saying whatever all the routes which are coming from EBGP, including the default route or 30 dot network, whatever it is, when I'm sending these routes to the neighbor, change the next stop to my, my address, which means now once you add this command, now the next stop address will change. So if you check the router one now, you will see this thread or network will have the next stop of 1.1.1.2. So previously it was not changing. So this time we are going to change manually with the next stop self command. So once you do this, you will be able to see the route will be coming. So what I have to do is on the border router, pointing to my internal routers. What is my internal router? We have to say next stop self. Now, once I do this, now if I say show IP BGP, now I can see this side or network, it should change to 1.1.1.2, which is router one. Now you will see show IP route BGP. You can see this route installed in the routing table. So now you will have reachability between them. So this is something you, you always need to do because in the production scenarios, as I said, you will be receiving the routes from the service port of one. And if you have any of your internal routers, if these internal routers receive some default route, and if they don't know how to reach this service portal, then you will have some reachable tissues. So always we go to this border router and we'll point to my neighbor internal router and we'll use a command called next stop self. So when you do this automatically, the next stop address will change to your local uh, border router instead of this router. So this is something you need to do. So we need to understand the default route exchange behavior from EBGP to IBGP, where the next stop do not change by default. You have to change it manually by using next stop self.